Movie. So, what do you think of what you saw there? I kind of expected it. You expected it? Yeah. Yeah. Do you, you have a hard time believing that that's actually Australian footage yet? Yeah? I thought they would have had legislation in place to stop that, but if you say it's Australian, of course it would be. You wouldn't lie to me. Yeah. What sort of legislation do you think would stop them from slashing an animal's throat open if that's how they've got to kill them? Well, if you put it that way, of course there wouldn't be any legislation yeah. to stop it doing it that way. Well, let's look, for example, when the footage came out of the cows being slaughtered in Indonesia and we stopped yeah. imports to there. Yeah. That's the type of stuff that you would saw in that video that I just watched. Yeah. Well, they used the bolt gun method there, yeah? I saw that, yeah. It was one of the cows. That, I think it, they, even one of them, I think they missed. Okay. Was, is that correct? In one of the, vi the yeah. video, they missed with the bolt gun and they had to go yeah. again? Yeah, that happens. That happens a bit. That honestly, would not surprise me if that happens. Yeah, and how are we supposed to have eyes in every single slaughterhouse to watch how these? But let's just say it's all done to the standard that you expect. The thing is, all of that was taken from security footage, and these people would probably. Right. It's not hidden cameras. They're hidden cameras from activists. All right. They're, they're not knowingly being filmed. Yeah. Okay. I go. Yeah. Yeah. So you looked pretty moved by what you saw on the video just there. Can you please explain how it made you feel? Just kind of, I guess, shocked. Shocked. Yeah. Yeah. Why shocked? Well, uh, just I don't know how people can treat other life like that. It's yeah. quite disgusting. Yeah. Well, when I first seen it, I was shocked too, and I, I didn't, I couldn't understand how someone could do that to an animal, animal too. But then I realised something that they're only doing that for one reason, and that was because I was wanting to eat their bodies or eat something from them or use them in some way like let's just say like the standard that you would expect for an animal to be killed what would what would you think would be okay well of course i've watched many things people would say well they've got to be stunned they could be thing and then you say the stunned guns don't work sometimes stuff like that um what if they did work would that make it okay well then it gets to the point of do we really need to eat these animals and stuff like that? That's where it comes. I can see you smiling. <laughs> well, you do watch some of my videos, don't you? I watch quite a lot of them, yeah. actually. Yeah, so you know we can be healthy without it. Oh, no, I've, me and my girlfriend have been, um, she's been going, uh, I think, vegan for, what, three weeks now. Yeah. And I do a lot of the cooking at home, and I honestly don't mind. Don't miss it. I don't eat yeah. meat. Like, let's say, I used to eat, because my father was a butcher as a child. Yeah. We used to eat meat all the time. I don't eat meat as much as possible as much yeah. now um, so that would mean that it would be easier for you because you don't eat much that you could just phase it out a lot easier it's the milk I'm having trouble with I don't particularly like soy say I want a burger I'm yeah, paying yeah, for that yeah. to happen D did you make that connection yeah of course yeah I have I made that connection a long time ago though. yeah so you're already vegan I don't eat any I haven't eaten commercial meat or anything like that for okay. quite a while so. But so, like, so explain non-commercial meat for everyone. It's just, um, so like, meat that I've hunted or like you know catching fish in the sea, okay. and like I can break its neck and then instantly put it there and like send it off kind of thing. And it's like connection to your food in a sense. It's yeah. like this is like quite a different type, yeah. different kind of like meat eating in a way. Yeah. Wow. So you don't like soy milk in particular. It's the flavour. Have you tried oat milk, almond milk, rice no, milk, no, uh, hemp milk? Hemp. Hemp milk's delicious. What's What was oat milk like? Oat milk's the most neutral milk you can get, I'd say. I'll try that one. But you know about the the, the dairy industry, don't you? Oh, yeah. About them taking, separating the families, killing yeah. the mothers. I've been, I grew up down a coast, uh, down New South Wales, and I've been to dairy farms as a child. Yeah. You hear the cows bellowing out? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, horrible. So do you think that's necessary because you like the taste of milk? No. Yeah, yeah, of course. I, I have the guilt of when I'm every time I'm picking up the milk to have me Wheaties in the morning. It's yeah. Yeah. You know that, you it doesn't take long for your taste buds to readjust. I oh, know. So if you find a, a milk that, like I, what I did when my mum was getting my mum off the dairy, I went out and bought five different types of milk, oat milk, rice milk, almond milk, all the nut milks, and get it, got her to choose her favourite one. 
and she chose like she likes almond now she likes soy she's she's slowly moved into soy but there's heaps to choose from maybe you could try transitioning it try a few yeah um i know what i'm catching yeah. i have a connection with it yeah. it understands it's the way of life and i can and i also personally believe that it's quite harmonious um, this, on the other hand, is just disgusting and suffering. You think there's a difference between the way you kill animals and the way they kill animals? Yeah. Do you think the animals are willing in either situation? No. Yeah. But um, every animal kind of knows that, like, especially in the wild, that it's like, you know, everything eats everything. Even plants are alive. Yeah. And, like, we all understand this, but it's like, yeah. this is, it's... And this is like, it's quick, you know, in the, like, yeah. when you're fishing, when you catch a fish, yeah. it's like a quick death, and you can, like, say a prayer for it, yeah. and, like, you know, do whatever you can to feel that, like, there wasn't any suffering involved, yeah. and if it was, it was a very small amount. Oh, one thing, too, I don't like, I've tried vegan cheese, but cheese, man, mm. I've got to find a really good one. Good vegan cheese. Yeah. I you, know, you know about the casomorphine in cheese, yeah? Oh, oh, no. <laughs> it's physically addictive. Yeah. yeah. But that, I, that doesn't take the onus of your responsibility. Just I, know, I know what you yeah. mean, because I used to work in hospitality, so I understand what people mean when they get high quality ingredients, especially cheese for one, mm. which costs 70, ki 70 dollars a kilo yeah. easily. And a few animals their life. Oh yeah. 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 So, like, if you can find one that you like, maybe we could get you off the cheese and the dairy, and the meat would be easy. Um, the meat's easy. That's I don't eat much. To tell you the truth, meat's too expensive. Because whenever I, I honestly tried to get meat, I'd try to go um, organic. Cause my um, stepfather was a butcher, had quite a lot of organic meat, and I, I could taste the difference mm. between the two. But then it comes up the issue of raising that meat. Mm. Um, I remember this. Uh, the animal, not the meat. Yeah, the animal. <laughs> it came up with the um, how much land it takes to grow vegetables compared to how much land it takes to uh, feed an, uh, a cow, for example, compared to what you can feed yourself with vegetables in the backyard. It's unsustainable, and they those organic cows usually will go to the same slaughterhouse as the you know mm. other cows. Yeah. So they all get killed the same. They all, their lives are ended. You know, at a percentage of their lifespan. So, so do you, do you think that that if we can live without eating these animals, that obviously suffer. They're obviously sentient. A carrot isn't, you know, bread isn't, you know, plant foods don't scream in pain. And you know, do you think that if we can live without hunting them and snapping their necks or even putting them in these slaughterhouses, do you think that we should maybe? Yeah, like the you know there was a time where maybe we could have lived as hunter gatherers but the population is too great now so like back then we were doing it to survive now why are we doing it yeah do you think that like we even need to do what you're doing even like to that extent do we even need to go out and hunt animals if we can go to the supermarket well i th i feel like conscious food choices is just sort of like mm. up to each individual yeah, and how they true. feel to be so the most true. thing but i feel like it just has to be conscious yeah. Like when I was a child, I said I um, I went to an abattoir with my father, and I was like, I was quite young, and all I remember is um, half a cow hanging, and those guys with giant swords just yeah. hacking it. How did that make you feel? Hungry? I was four years old. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> but going as a probably a bit traumatized, yeah? Maybe. Not really, because I was I was all, quite often in the uh, set for the butcher shop quite a lot, so yeah. I saw that stuff quite yeah. a lot. So let's just say, like, I'll, I'll leave you with this. So you, uh, the way you hunt ethically, if I was to go up and hunt someone's dog ethically and snap their neck and, and eat their body, but I said a prayer, would that exonerate me from the crime of killing their, that person's dog? Yeah. Or in the dog's eyes, would that be justified if I said a prayer and snapped their neck and, do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Or is that now, dog? Now I kind of feel like I'm being interrogated rather than interviewed. How about you sign up to Challenge 22 and give a vegan challenge a go? pretty much already trying to do You're that. trying to do it yourself. Stuff already. Yeah. No, no, I was trying to make the connection with the, the animal because yeah. the dog is so important in our eyes, yeah, but yeah. the but these other animals aren't. That's what I'm saying. Like, for me, all animals feel and suffer the same. That's all I'm trying yeah. to say with that. Like, I'm not yeah. trying to interrogate you. I agree. You, like, I, I agree. Yeah. Um, but, you know, yeah, like, I'd say it's kind of different because dogs are domesticated. Yeah. Um, and, like, you know, you can't compare dog to a wolf, really. You like, can't? No. You can, they're essentially the same species, but there's a whole lot in of... In their mentality or... 
yeah, the way they want to live is have different. Much different mentalities. Yeah. yeah. How about from this day forward, you make more of a push into the right direction? I've been trying. Honestly, I have. Thanks for your perspective on that. Did, did that would that change your eating habits at all, or you just keep doing what you're doing, or you well, feel compelled to change, or you feel a little bit moved I, by it? All of the food I eat comes from farmers markets, and mm -hmm. it's like vegetables from farmers markets. Yeah. And when I do eat, it's fish that I catch every once a month or so. so. I look forward to hearing your success story. Thanks. <laughs> Cheers, bro. Cheers. Thanks. Thanks for the interview, man. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. So.